Hey, I'm going to show you now um, a time-lapse video that um, demonstrates how I painted this painting. That's called Queen of the Rainbow. It's a, a young woman in the waters of the Rainbow River, which is a river in Denellen, Florida. And um, so I'll tell you how I painted it, and I'll, I'll give you a little story on how the uh, Queen of the Rainbow became the Queen of the Rainbow. Okay, here we go. The Queen of the Rainbow is um, the title given to a young woman who would win a beauty contest in the city of Denellen, Florida, which is a very small town in uh, north central Florida, very close to the Gulf Coast and west of Ocala. When uh, I first learned about the Queen of the Rainbow, um, my sister, Doreen, was participating in the contest to win the contest. And at some point, because I had written songs, I was asked to write a song for the, for the competition. So I wrote the song Queen of the Rainbow, but it occurred to me that this should be more than a title and only a title. There should be some meaning to the title Queen of the Rainbow. And because I kind of have always been an environmentalist, I always have thought we should keep the earth clean and um, do whatever we can to be good stewards of the earth. It just seems to be common sense to pick up our trash and try to cause as little damage to the, the surroundings as we can. I thought, well, that would be a great, um, a great mission a great responsibility of, of the young lady who is crowned the queen of the rainbow. So she's not just not just beautiful in looks, but also beautiful in her understanding of, of what we need to do to keep the, the fish in the river safe, the manatees in the river safe, uh, the raccoons that swim, well, they don't swim, but the raccoons that drink from the river, maybe they swim, the... Uh, the otters that swim in the river, and uh, of course the people who live around the river and near the river. And, and um, it's always been a beautiful river. When I was a young guy, I used to float on an inner tube down the river all the time. When I say all the time, I mean all the time. I was, I was probably in that river, whew, gosh, 20 or 30 times every year, I would say. And maybe that's not as many as some people, but it was um, it was great, and you know I didn't always float down the river. Sometimes I just went swimming. In uh, oh, there's a swimming hole called the KP hole, and back then there was you couldn't swim in the headwaters. Um, but if you had a canoe, you could. You weren't allowed to, but you did. When you, when you're a kid, you swim. You just go swimming a lot, right? I I kind of wish I still did that, but anyway. So this is a painting that I did. Um, and I called it Queen of the Rainbow. Um, what I did was I used the dry brush. Well, I used the Procreate app on my iPad. I'll start with that. And then in the Procreate app, I used the dry brush. And I um, first I, I, I brushed in and sometimes scrubbed in. If you, if you use a, an iPad, you have that, that Apple stylus, um, which is like a pencil. Um, and in fact, I think they call it the Apple Pencil. And you, you don't have to lift it from the screen. You could just scrub it on the screen. And so part of the, the process I use for doing that is doing a painting many times is to, to scrub it in, almost like, uh, almost like using a magic marker in a way um, to scrub in um, color. And other times I, I use it more like pointillism, little points and other times like cross hatching. Um, I'm sure you know all those techniques. So my first um, objective here, as you can see, is to make the river, paint the river and, and the, the, the land next to the river, the shoreline. Um, and I had a, um, a photo of, of a young girl in swimming in the water uh, from the back. And she was my uh, reference photo. And you'll see in just a little bit that I start with um, painting her. And, and like with everything else, I just paint the shapes. Um, I paint what I see. I keep it 
somewhat impressionistic, somewhat um, loose, um, and I want to make it painterly. I want the painting, I want the digital painting to look like a painting. I have a feeling the reason I do that is because I'm old. I notice that young artists have a, a beautiful style that I probably will never be good at, but but this is what I do. And this is, by the way, the, not so different than the style I use when I um, paint uh, traditionally. So what you saw right there is I painted the girl and then I duplicated the painting of the girl and I flipped it so that I could create um, a reflection in the water. And there she is. And that's really pretty much all I, I, I did. This particular painting, this is a time-lapse version, of course, but this one took about four hours to do, just so you know. It doesn't happen quick, um, but the results are always rewarding and hopefully uh, enjoyable for the people who see the painting. I, that's it. I don't have anything else to say. It looks like I'm ready to wrap up the uh, narration anyway. All right. Thank you very much. If you ever get to Denali, Florida, go swimming in the Rainbow River. Deal? Deal. Talk to you later.